Hello everyone and welcome to WD18, the Watford fan channel. Today I'm going to be improving Watford's game against Swansea at the Liberty Stadium on Saturday. I'll be making my way down to Swansea on Saturday, a five and a half hour journey, so I'm going to have to leave early. But hopefully Watford can bring back the three points. And let's look at our opponent Swansea. So, I mean, I'm... I'm I kind of re I really respect Paul Clement. I think he's a very, very good manager. I mean, he did well to keep them up um, last year. I mean, a lot of Swansea fans were saying that result against us towards the back end of last season was kind of... They thought that they were destined for chance championship football after that. But they managed to come back. I mean, what that game, Watford did play quite well. But Swansea looked flat. But amazingly, Clement got them out of a relegation battle and saved them. And I think this season they're going to be kind of in between rele relegation, kind of the relegation zone and mid-table, around that 14th position, which they are at the minute. They're 14th in the table. Paul Clement is a very good manager. They've obviously lost the likes of Fernando Loriente and Guilfi Sigerson for quite a lot of money, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but they have brought in good players as well. Obviously, the likes of Wilfred Boney, who we've seen at Manchester City and obviously his spell at Swansea before he left. Um, I mean, just a player to pick out Tom Carroll, who's actually born in Watford, is a very, very good player. I really like him. Very good on the ball. Technical Nimble on the ball as well. Renato Sanchez, Rocky Messer, Alfie Mawson, I think is a very good young English defender. But yeah, overall, Swansea have got a very, very good side. And I can see them causing us problems in the midfield. And that's why I, I kind of think the game's going to be won in that centre of midfield. Whether Watford can dominate the midfield or Swansea can. Whoever gets the kind of cent the central areas and dominates in the central areas will win the football match. Challenge and Decore will hopefully bring back the form in the unbeaten run just before Manchester City. And just looking at City, I know I didn't do a match review, but I don't think many people would have wanted to see it. But um, yeah, just a little kind of match review from it. I just think we've got, we can't get too bogged down from it. Manchester City are a quality side. They've got world-class players in their side. And to be honest, we a lot of teams have been rolled over by the likes of Manchester City before. And it's not a surprise that they're going to be up there. But I would be surprised if they didn't win the league at the end of the season alongside Manchester United, who is between those two for me. But going back onto Saturday's game, I think Watford were unlucky at times. I mean, like Adam said, if you saw, saw his fan camp, if that Richardson head goes in, you're looking at a different game. And City, I mean, they were lucky at times just because they, um, they, they, had, they could have easily been caught out just from that header. It was a, defensively, they looked poor, but... From that moment onwards, I couldn't see them coming back. And Watford, I mean, I was a little bit upset that some of the he players got their heads down a little bit too quickly for my liking. However, we've just got to keep our heads up. We played really well in the first four games before the Manchester City game. I mean, I'd like to see Marcus would give it a real good go. I, I'm not saying wholesale changes, but I'd like to see a couple of players come in. Swansea, it's quite an even game. I mean, Swansea, I, th I think Swansea are a very good side. Uh, very Quite an underrated side, an underrated manager in Paul Clem. But Watford, we've got to go into the game with, I don't know, it's, we've got to go into the game one kind of not sitting back. I don't want to see it. We want, I want to see Watford on the front foot, exactly like Southampton. That away performance is what I want to see from Watford. Don't get me wrong, that was a, almost a perfect away performance. We defended well, well, really, really well. And then when we had a chance to break and we countered, we dominated the midfield and we countered with, we countered with purpose. And that's what I want to see against Swansea on Saturday. Don't think there's any team news to update you on. Kabul and Prodo are still out. So the centre-backs, centre-back wise, we're still a little bit short. Well, quite, we are short. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if Mariapa plays, continues to play in Cabasele. I mean, I think I'd like to continue with Cabasele. Um, but maybe Wargame might get a game. We'll have to wait and see and you'll see what I think tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully Watford can pull off a, pull off a good, good win. We need it after, after a after that City game and we need to go into the game with, like I said, purpose, kind of, we need to be on the front foot and that's the key thing I want you to take on this preview. I want Watford to be on the front foot from minute one and that is something I'd like to see because in the Southampton game, you saw it, teams are scared of us when we are on the front foot and when Decore, Chalabot are bossing midfield and that's what I'd like to see from Watford on Saturday. Make sure you leave a like for the Saturday's game against Swansea in the comment section below. Leave a like if you haven't joined and subscribe so you don't miss any more Watford fan content and I'll see you next time.